I'm looking at Mount Kenya region and uh, what it but, means for the DP. But you know, now, hold on. Uh, hold on. Um, now that we have the backing up for Raila Odinga, does this mean that the DP's chances are, you know, reduced? Is this a threat? Mm -hmm. I'm looking at the numbers. I know you, you will Which say numbers? No. I'm looking at the, the numbers in central Kenya. Unless you talk of the numbers that went to Bondo, but not the numbers of central Kenya voters. Because central Kenya voters were not in that decision. Let me they not go to Bondo, my friend. So let us be the, realistic. The when we are giving represent the people. No, no. Which, which people? The people. How many of them were elected? How many of them? Peter Kenneth is a, a reject who does not even have a name of this country. Peter Kenneth. What, what is Peter Kenneth? Do you know what is his nationality? He's talking yes. about Peter no? Kenneth being a reject who has been elected in parliament twice and he's nominated. So let us also be humble. That's what I was actually saying. No, you are also Especially nominated. Especially we are on no, a, a, excuse, yes, excuse, you are I was also nominated you are and nominated. I'm very humble uh, 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 about no, no, it. No, no. I, like I'm very humble and, uh, about <laughs> my nomination. <laughs> no, no, so no, no, let no. us not call no, a leader who has been elected in this country. No, no, no. That's that a reject. No. Nobody is a reject. Let me tell you. Would you like Anybody, to withdraw that statement? whether elected, how, how whether nominated, How can I withdraw where Litebol is intention to become the governor of Nairobi and the voters rejected him? It's not me. It is the voters. Commander also, table, he wanted to become the member of parliament. He was also rejected. For me, I'm nominated. I'm proud of my nomination. I'm, I'm and I've never been rejected. I'm glad I will table my, my intention to become maybe a member of parliament of Narok North. If I'm rejected, I still accept that I'm rejected. I've, I'm yes. glad you mentioned my inner commander because commander said this at the same, same place. And mm. I quote, once we have united the two communities, Luo and Kikuyu, it will be easy to work with other communities to be a formidable force in 2022. We have 42 uh, tribes in Kenya. Uniting two of them is ex totally exclusivity. Um, you are exclusive. I would like us to look at the numbers here. And uh, I'm, I'm looking at... No, don't look at the numbers. Before you look at the numbers... Before you look at the numbers, uniting the two basically means that oh, in our basket we already have other numbers. Yes. So uniting the two is basically adding the numbers. It's not about exclusivity. No, 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 no. it's about uniting the whole no, no, no. country. Two tribes. It's about two uniting tribes. forty you know, something you know, tribes. This, this issue. It's not about uh, 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 two uh, uh, tribes. Now, now, let me. No, let this me issue of becoming tribal. Uh, allow me. Uh, allow me to come now to. We want a country. It's not about two tribes. We want a united country. The forty-two tribes are are united. We don't want a country of two tribes. We don't want a country where there is exclusion of the other forty tribes. Now, let me tell Mili, you, uh, yes, that in regards to what Honorable Sankoka said, I remember Parliament Dindi Nyoro said this, and I quote, coming together to gang up against the Hasla nation just because Ruto was born of a peasant father is retrogressive politics. Mount Kenya will vote based on their conscience without any intimidation. Isn't this re re retrogressive uh, politics, in your view? I think it's not only retrogressive, but it's a fallacy to classify some people as uh, uh, dynasties. Uh, there's no greater dynasty than uh, William Samoy Ruto. Mm -hmm. He has uh, never worked in his life. He finished, we finished the same year with him in the university. And as soon as he finished, he got a good job through Khan. While some of us were still uh, getting in matatus, having uh, roast maize uh, for, for lunch, he was already driving free money from the government from Ke of Kenya. So if indeed there's a person who is a dynasty, mm. then William is dynasty. So what I would want to encourage us is let us stop uh, the politics of tagging and giving names. Let us just do clean politics where you sell your policy, where you sell your agenda, where you sell your manifesto mm -hmm. without trying to brand people as dynasty versus hustler. There's no greater dynasty than him because he has never worked. I can tell you, look at uh, Dr. William Ruto's CV mm. and look at my CV. I will count for you where I have worked. I have struggled through uh, <laughs> from <laughs> working from Kamau and Kamau Advocates for uh, earning like peanuts, mm. 6,000 Kenya shillings, to earn, I, I, w working in the Attorney General's, to working. You no. Give me that CV. I'm looking the, at uh, the uh, deputy she, she has mentioned being clean, of which I remember the President at the prayer day, he said that, Kama ni mikukosea nisamehe, 
kama um, ni, uh, um, umenikosea nami pia na kusamehe w- what a, that is great and we support it but before we go to that you, no, let, you, you, i want you, to you, mention about you, the you dispute that it, it has no meaning it no it have a lot of meaning it from no the president coming from you. the president it have a, a lot of meaning to all of us and i'm quite sure there the, 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 the is a meaning to it and probably attached to their future relationship with the deputy president and maybe uh, Kalonzo Musyoka and okay, the rest okay. who will be brought on board into mm. the whatever so and probably the abuses that we have been uh, using against each other as Kenyans so all this they have a lot of meaning mm. and I really support the president on that we should forgive each other I also forgive you I think you will forgive me and I will forgive you but I was on the issue of dynasty and mm. hustler mm-hmm. you know you people should understand a hustler in Kenyan meaning is that somebody who have struggled somebody who have walked to school barefooted somebody who have slept hungry not because he have malaria or he have typhoid that uh, uh, loses appetite it is because mama metafuta na akakosa that is the meaning of uh, a hustler and what we are simply saying is that let us stop now the conversation uh-huh. about two position or three position or as leaders let us not talk about the people who are down there and you know for us we had an ambition to change the lives of people who are down there okay. in the big in the big four agenda we we had the affordable housing 500,000 houses each of them requiring a plumber an electrician a painter five people no. five times 500,000 that is 2.5 million jobs there is something but, that you had said there is something but, that, that, but, that you but, had said but but no no just a minute but what happened from 2018 we have been going around with something called bbi probably creation of three or four position leaving the jobs that who are supposed to create in affordable housing All right. for 2.5 now, now million hold, hold it there now uh, um, my director please pull up this clip uh, let's take a, uh, a listen to what honorable david sankok said ni expensive sisi tunahitaji hiyo wilbaro tunahitaji hiyo mkokoteni lakini wala ambao walisaliwa kwa nyumba ya matajiri hawaelewi hata ukiambia nimelala njaa anaita daktari anafikiri uko na typhoid ama malaria ndio inapoteza appetite hawajui kuna watu wanalala njaa kwa kukosa isn't that retrogressive in any way let me Which let me let me no, I, 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 i'll come let to me, you to respond let me come to him yes i mean let me respond to that why do you come to me no let me respond to you i'm not coming to you i would like to respond yes i'll respond to you number one, um i would want to say that the real meaning of a hustler is actually a thief and a con man mm. if you look at the dictionary that's it nonetheless even if you were to use what is trying to say as a Kenya- kenyanized version of uh, hustler. hustler it's actually what i would call a freedom fighter that definition you are saying a person who went uh, bare feet who has struggled who has in, been jailed fighting for freedoms of kenyans whose mother died while in prison uh, fighting for kenyans that is what i would actually call a person who has fought for kenya while somebody was in their comfort zone not fighting for kenyans so we cannot rewrite history we know who has fought for this country mm-hmm. we know who has been on the uh, you know uh, fighting through and through uh, we know who brought the constitution and all the changes and we cannot rewrite history about that what i would want to encourage my brother ole sankok yes is that the country needs healing the country needs cohesion the president has set a very good tempo the country yes the country not, and the president two people. the president has set a very good tempo you have told you you need the conviction of the holy spirit and the president has set a very good tempo yeah, okay, by praying i will lay hands on you but with the, uh, not you well. know i don't have the the Sul- sulimani one <laughs> <laughs> the real holy spirit and i will lay hands on you so that god may convict you of <laughs> now, n- n- now uh, and, 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 and i can I tell you to, that yeah. the country the president has sent a very <laughs> set a very good tone uh-huh. and the tone of forgiveness that okay. we forgive each other yeah, we if he has offended us anyway uh, we forgive him may i forgive the president that if i have offended him and i call him names may he also forgive me it's and an era of forgiveness it's a time for forgiveness yes. so let us forgive for the sake of but unity let, let us not say that when there is forgiveness you say forgiveness but forgiveness what but. you, you would be the ones that the bible calls san balat san tobias that Now, never um, see anything good coming out l- l- of uh, let, me, l- let me read a few uh sample a few tweets uh 
Advice Mundalo says, tell Honorable Sankok that there is no job description in the constitution called politicking. His role is legislation. The role should even come out better from a nominated member since he has no constituency. And uh, as a, by the way, Zach is a married man. Oh, he, oh. he married when? But it's okay, it's okay. That, it's that, okay. That all, but he does not qualify to be an elder in any way. But your role is not to politic, but to legislate. Let me tell you. What am I called? <laughs> you know, you people, sometimes let us speak that, you know, you know, let us just be genuine for once. I'm a politician. And once I'm a politician, it's like a doctor. You cannot tell the doctor, stop treating. You cannot tell me 2022 is far while you have in the government vision 2030. When we go to church every day to plan our journey to David, heaven, which we don't even know when. We David do. is saying if the leadership of President Uru and DP Ruto cannot work, let them divorce. DP Ruto should prove his cap capability if he can be the next president. Kudos to Honorable Mil of the Ambo. Mm -hmm. We have uh, just one more tweet because I mean, uh, as the time is not on our side, uh, we have a tweet by Imepotea. Yeah, what you put there? Wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, found it here. Yeah. So we have yeah. this is um, we, we Wilfred and an Asema um, interesting conversation with Honorable Millie and Honorable David Sankok. I, if the president and his deputy are were conjoined twins, um, why can't they just go their separate ways? Since even at the moment they do not speak the same language. We have... Uh, Which um, language? Is well or English? <laughs> <laughs> but keep tweeting. The hashtag is uh, the stand K -E at 254 channel at Ramaguko. And uh, uh, um, you can make sure that you follow us live on our website www.y254.co.ke. And uh, it will be quite unfair if I don't end the show with uh, this. Jerusalem. Yes. <laughs> I'm aware that uh, the majority leader, Emos Kimunya, had uh, spoken in parliament. Yes. Uh, he said that uh, you are supposed to turn up in numbers for the shoot of uh, Jerusalem uh, that is taking place tomorrow. Yes, we are doing the shoot tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yes. You rehearsed today. Yes. And, uh, no, yes. we've been rehearsing uh, for the week. Since, Since Thursday. Uh, we Since have been rehearsing on, uh, on Monday. Uh. And uh, on Wednesday, Wednesday probably, and Thursday. the days that we don't have uh, our sittings. When we don't have because we don't sittings. also want to eat into the time that we are supposed I, I to do I remember you said that you, you are sure that you've reduced weight after this years of Yeah, of course. <laughs> they are very, <laughs> they are very uh, difficult, um, but enjoyable actually, but, actually but, as well. But, to, but make us understand why Jerusalem a challenge for parliamentarians. Jerusalem a challenge actually for Kenya. And of course, most of us know that Jerusalem a challenge came at a point when the whole world was actually in crisis with the coronavirus. Mm -hmm. Most people were at home. Uh, most places were closed up and there was a lot of depression setting in. And so somebody, it was originally a South African song, but people took it and adapted it from all over the world. So people were singing it as a theme song of uh, COVID. Uh, sort of as a, a theme of hope. And if you see Jerusalem, mm. uh, it's the home of many religions. So it hosts, uh, whether it's Christians, Muslim, everybody lays claim to it. So it was actually symbolic that yeah. it, is a, it was a theme song of all religions that brings it a theme uh, song for hope. As parliament, we have actually adopted it. Mm. Uh, we have adopted the theme, uh, Peace in Diversity, uh, and basically what we are saying, that I can sit with my brother Ole Sankok, as we have done now, yeah. disagree. Mm -hmm. He will support Deputy President William Ruto, and I will support Honorable Raila Omolodinga without fighting. We are not hitting each other with stones and rocks, but we don't, we don't agree in principle. Uh -huh. We don't have to kill each other. So mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. theme mm -hmm. of Jerusalem mm -hmm. is to tell people we don't all have to think the same but we can respect each other even when we don't agree. And there will be times when we we'll really totally, completely disagree, even with Ole and Sakok. But even then, we don't have to kill each other. We, kill each other. we yeah. will be dancing. You will see us tomorrow. We'll be dancing with... I mean, you will not see you tomorrow because we are releasing it uh, deliberately on, on Mashujade. Because all, right. all Kenyans um, are Shujas. Uh, 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 what yeah. does Jerusalem mean for you? People say that, oh, even though... Uh, she said, we may not agree on everything, 
but we just have to be united. Whether it's wheelbarrows, mkokoteni, or anything, yes. we are united. Yes, and uh, she's actually our chairperson. So together with KJ, and, and, so we actually have yes, different. they are co-chairs. Yeah, and uh, and and what we want to pass, uh, we just want to pass a message that as Kenyans, I didn't apply to be born a Kenyan. Destiny and fate and God have brought us together. Mm. So so we have to build this country. We have to unite this country. All right. And uh, we are in a country that we can say one nation, one people, one love, one God, and we have all the same destiny. And I think we we can compete with her today here. Uh, but but, but uh, my, my director, so, I don't know if, and, uh, if if it's ready, we can. Uh, and again, the and again, yeah, the, yeah, the we can jaribu. Yes. Yeah, and then the last thing. Pick. And the yeah, last thing I want to make a yes. preview. And the, the last thing that I wanted to tell you yes. is that this is a Christian song. Unlike when we are given some songs like in a reggae we don't understand, uh. where when we are given some words like Tibi oh. Alala we don't understand, we, we want basically to be more Christian, to <laughs> be right. a country now, that now, sing now, uh, Christian songs, a country that I, I sing patriotic songs. I want to say it's a religious song. Yes, because a religious. even in our group, there are also Muslims and others. Yes, it's and a that's religion. why I'm telling you symbolically, Jerusalem. It's a city let's that is owned by all uh, uh, religions. So it is a, it's so a, we wake up a, a song say, of we, we, faith we, we, and hope. And uh, <coughs> I, I think at, the, uh, at this point in time, let's just say that we are. This is how we are, we are winding up the show today. Mm -hmm. Okay. So um, thank you very much for tuning in. We are, we, we are winding up with Jerusalem. Uh, so oh, you um, want me to remove shoes? Yeah, to remove your shoes. Yeah, I is can it, remove the yes, shoes. Yes, let her remove the shoes so that we can dance properly. I, I don't know how you practiced it, Moshimiwa, but. I'm a Mimi, Mimi, I got to go. Yeah, you were with her. Music, music uh, in Akuja. But uh, winding up, thank you very much for tuning, tuning in. See you again next week on Tuesday. Same place, same time. I was with Honorable Milio Diambo, Honorable David Olesankok. Goodbye.